doctor-patient communication. Smarty has been focusing on invisible orthodontic treatment for nearly 20 years. Smarty Clear Aligners are aesthetic, comfortable, efficient, and easy to wear. The product is prescribed for a wide range of indications and delivers desirable orthodontic results. On the first visit, the doctor will take photos, radiographics, and intraoral scanning data of the patient, or silicone rubber impression and bite registration records. Next, data will be submitted to Smarty for animation design. After the clinician approving the staging animation, Smart T will fabricate the aligners and deliver them to the clinician by express. The clinician will instruct the patient on how to wear aligners properly upon receiving. How to wear the aligners properly. Only good wearing compliance of the patient can achieve expected results. Patients shall wear the aligners as instructed by the doctor. Items delivered by Smarty include one aligner case, etc which serves better convenience for daily aligner storage and wearing. Patient photographic records. Patient photographic records include facial photos and intraoral photos. Facial photos include frontal, frontal smiling, side profile of the patient. Intraoral photos include intraoral right, intraoral frontal, intraoral left, upper and lower photos, and anterior overbite and overjet photos. Before taking photos, one digital camera, one ring flash, one reflector, one cheek retractor, and one side retractor should be prepared. Practices will help to create better quality photos. The interpupillary line of the patient and the line between the lens and the eye should be parallel to the ground to take photos. Patients need to show their teeth when taking frontal smiling photos to ensure the upper dental midline can be seen clearly. When taking anterior frontal photos, the occlusal plane should be in the center of the camera frame and the camera should focus on the maxillary central incisor area, further retracting patient's cheek to make it widely exposed and enlarged to ensure the ideal buccal view. The canine area should be focused on to ensure that the molar relationship is clearly photographed. A reflector should be used to take upper and lower photos. Prior to its use, the reflector should be blown with an air gun to prevent water mist. The long axis of the lens should be perpendicular to the occlusal plane at the time of photographing to allow the whole dentition to be photographed. Radiography filming. Radiography requires orthopantomogram, OPG, and cephalometric head film, CEPH, as well as CBCT if conditions permit. Intraoral scanning. Intraoral scanning allows fast and precise digital impression. Precautions. Pay attention to handle saliva or exuded blood in the mouth to avoid reflections. Instruct the patient to avoid mouth breathing to prevent a foggy lens. Full mouth scanning data should be obtained, even if this case is single arch treatment. Preparations. Turn on the intraoral scanner to warm up one to two minutes prior to the operation to avoid a foggy lens. Scan to collect data. Enter the data collection interface. Collect the data of mandible, maxilla, and occlusion sequentially. Please scan in the following order. For the posterior teeth area, scan to collect data in sequence from the occlusal plane, buccal side to lingual side. For the anterior teeth area, scan in a continuous S-shape motion. Start from the incisal edge, transition to the lingual, then labial edge. Finally, back to the incisal edge again and repeat this protocol until the entire arch is scanned with the wand. Try to keep at 45 degrees, switching angle during the scanning process. It is recommended to follow the principle of collecting as many. Check the data after optimization. 
The cervical margin should be clear and continuous, with intact definition and labial, buccal, lingual, and palatal surfaces. There should be no foreign body on the tooth surface, and the second molar should be intact. The mesial half of the third molar should have correct occlusion without piercing. Silicone rubber impression taking. Impression taking operations. Two-step impression method. The doctor can also employ a conventional two-step impression method to take impressions. Silicone impressions can be taken through operations such as selection of trays, mixing of heavyweight materials and catalyst, first impression, injection of lightweight impression materials, and second impression. Tools required for impression taking, two-step impression method. Polyvinyl siloxane, smarty plastic tray, plastic film, silicone syringe. Impression taking operations, take the first impression. Take equal proportions of heavyweight materials and catalyst according to the size of the teeth and jaw and knead them thoroughly for no more than 30 seconds. Please use your finger rather than your palm to avoid quick curing of silicone due to the heat from your palm. After mixing well, spread the mixture on the tray and put a separation film on the mixture. Maintain the position of the film on the tray Pull the contralateral corner of the patient's mouth, rotate, and place the tray into the patient's mouth. Press the tray upward gently and evenly to put it in place. Take the heavyweight materials out after curing. Remove the separation film and check whether impression of the entire dentition has been taken. Impression taking operations. Take the second impression. Inject the lightweight materials onto the heavyweight materials with a silicone syringe. Inject the lightweight materials evenly along the heavyweight impression dentition with the injection head. Do not move back and forth to avoid the generation of bubbles. Pull the contralateral corner of the patient's mouth, rotate, and place the tray in the patient's mouth. Press the tray upward evenly and take it out after curing. Check whether the gingival margin is clear without obvious bubbles and delamination and with intact dentition. When mandibular impression is taken, the separation film should be cut from the lingual side to avoid blocking of the tongue. Put an appropriate amount of heavyweight materials onto the tray. Place a separation film Pull the contralateral corner of the patient's mouth, rotate, and place the tray into the patient's mouth. Press the tray downward gently and evenly to put it in place. Take the heavyweight materials out after curing. Inject the lightweight materials onto the heavyweight materials with a silicone syringe. Pull the contralateral corner of the patient's mouth. Rotate and place the tray into the patient's mouth and press the tray downward gently and evenly. Take the tray out after curing. Bite registration. To obtain the bite registration records, it is necessary to employ the special occlusal silicone or use heavyweight materials instead. The bite registration records reflect the patient's occlusal condition. Instruct the patient how to cooperate and determine the position before operation. Quick injection is made by a silicone gun from one side of the patient's mandible and along the occlusal surface. After injection, the patient is instructed to bite quickly. The clinician should check whether the patient's actual occlusion is reflected. Take out after curing and check whether the gingival margin is clear and intact and truly reflects the patient's occlusion. Thus, a qualified silicone impression is taken. Bite registration Online case submission Login Follow the link Case creation Follow the instructions step by step Fill in the basic information, treatment type, 
Upload photos and radiographics. Fill in prescription. STL files upload. Submit intraoral scanning data or teeth model data from impressions. Click Upload to choose local STL files, which should be compressed in RAR or ZIP format. Treatment plan and 3D animation will be designed based on the case information submitted and the consultation with the doctor. Clinicians may review the 3D animation on the Smarties case management system. Key points of animation review. 1. Whether the target position meets expectations. 2. Confirm the order of tooth movement and the amount of movement on each stage. 3. Confirm the IPR, attachments, and other details. Make comments on modifications after reviewing and wait for the next version of design. Select and click the case on Case Management, on home page to enter case information, click on the view button to view 3D animation. Click on the comments button on the 3D view and then click on the modify the animation button to modify the 3D design. To adjust tooth parameters, click on a tooth to be adjusted on the 3D view. A panel for tooth parameter adjustment will pop up for you to make the appropriate changes. After completing the modifications, click on the Submit Modifications button to save and submit. After selecting the Case on Case Management page, click on the View button on the selected design. Then click on the Approve button to approve it. After Smarty receives the confirmation message, the production department will begin to manufacture the aligners. Interproximal enamel reduction. Before the patient wearing the aligners, the clinician should perform corresponding operations on the patient according to the design instruction sheet provided by Smarty. It is necessary to strictly follow the amount, the IPR staging guideline, and the tooth position indicated on the instruction sheet. Preparations before operation. Check the tooth position for enamel reduction in the treatment overview before operation. Generally, diamond burrs, a high-speed handpiece, diamond stripe, and IPR gauges, etc. should be prepared. For spacing with an amount of enamel reduction exceeding 0.5 millimeters, a long and thin diamond burr can be used. Operations of interproximal enamel reduction. Start from the labial and gingiva side before enamel reduction and gradually move to lingual and occlusal side. Try to preserve the original morphology of tooth as much as possible. Take care not to form subgingival stare. Performing enamel reduction requires caution in controlling the amount of enamel reduction. The spacing can be measured repeatedly with IPR gauges to avoid excessive enamel reduction. If the amount of enamel reduction is insufficient, it is necessary to continue stripping to reach the amount of enamel reduction specified in the design instruction sheet. When the amount of enamel reduction is less than 0.5 millimeters, the diamond strip for machine can be used for enamel reduction. Avoid enamel reduction on the interproximal surface of teeth with severe malposition. After the spacing is created, dental floss is used to check whether subgingival shoulder exists. If any, it should be trimmed using a diamond strip. After the amount of enamel reduction meets the specified requirements, a polishing burr is used to trim the tooth to achieve its original morphology as much as possible. Criteria for enamel reduction. The original morphology of the tooth is restored without subgingival shoulder. Treatment after enamel reduction. After enamel reduction, the floor protector should be applied on the surface of teeth where enamel reduction has been conducted. Oral health education should be provided to prevent caries. Attachment bonding. 
Attachments should be bonded onto the patient's tooth surface before wearing the aligners. Preparations. The following should be prepared before cementing the attachments, including the attachment template. Smarty provides two full section templates. One etch template for precise control over the etch position and size. Light curing resin, light curing gun, acid etchant, resin binder, and resin filling device. A polish brush and an appropriate amount of polishing paste are required to polish the crown surface and clean the tooth surface before drying thoroughly. Try to wear the additional template to check whether the gingival margin fits well and whether the teeth are in place. Remove and blow dry. Then cut the template into two to three sections for later use. Operations for attachment bonding. Wear the etch template and apply the acid etchant, 30% phosphoric acid, to the tooth surface through the cavities on the template and etch for 30 seconds. Remove the etch template and rinse off the acid etchant with water. Blow dry the tooth surface so the acid etched tooth surface appears chalky. Pay attention to isolate moisture after acid etching to avoid saliva impregnation. Apply the bonding agent and have the bonding agent distributed evenly by a medium airflow. Light cure each tooth surface for 10 seconds. Fill the attachment template with resin and reduce the amount of resin appropriately if the tooth surface is protruding. Wear the template and compress tightly and check whether the template fits the tooth surface. Light cure for 40 seconds. A probe can be used to pry the template along the edge of the aligner and the template can be removed after repeated attempts. Flash may be formed around the attachment bonded onto the tooth surface. A polishing burr can be used to remove excess resin around the attachment. Do not damage the four sides of the attachment, nor produce scratches on the tooth surface. A polishing head can be used for polishing after excess resin has been removed. Aligners try on. Let the patient try the first set of aligners on. Check the fit of aligners, trim line, and the gingival margin. The Chewies and Extraction tool allows patients to wear and remove the aligner more easily. Chewies should be used to bite at occlusal points at the teeth several times each time after wearing the aligner to facilitate the aligner to be in place, achieving better results. Patients can remove the aligners by themselves with the extraction tool by hooking the edge of the aligner at the posterior teeth area with one end of the extraction tool. It may be difficult to remove on the first attempt. Repeated practice will make it easier. Follow-up visit. Any fitting issues, analyze specific reasons and perform alternative solution. If the aligner breaks, Try the next set of aligners. If it does not fit well, the patient may keep wearing the previous one and the doctor shall notify Smarty as soon as possible. Check the attachment. If attachments are damaged or fall off, employ the previous aligner as an attachment template when necessary and rebond the attachment. Check the oral hygiene and tooth mobility. Perform periodontal treatment as needed and suspend correction if necessary. In case of poor occlusion, you may adjust the occlusion or take other measures depending on specific situations. Evaluate the degress of completion of the orthodontic treatment by comparing the animation design with the actual clinical outcome. After the treatment finishes, please instruct the patient to wear retainers for a certain amount of time to maintain the orthodontic results.